I mean, I've just recently started feeling like um, I'm getting into it, you know, a little bit. And so to me, that that that's like a little bit of uh, healing, a little bit of some healing. I will show you something that I just made uh, uh, creative, cre creatively. Uh, so stay tuned. So here we are, and yeah, okay, so I wanted to create, okay, so I have, okay, so in this play, we're, what I have done is I put this really pretty curtain up, but I wanted something that I could um, kind of disguise my uh, rod there. And so I have created these adorable little bows and I just think they're so cute. I've done it on each side. If you can see each side, if you can see that. And yeah, um, basically I used what I have a lot of scrap uh, materials, laces, and things, and some ribbon, and just some cardboard. But I hook it right there, and when I look at that, it makes me happy because I know that I have created something um, that didn't cost me a lot, and it is. Uh, it's just rewarding and fun. <laughs> so I have other things too, but uh, we will we will definitely we will definitely uh, be getting into those as well. Um, so on a little deeper note, I do have something to share with you that I think is very invaluable and important, and I'm going to share this with you because. Um, I believe that, um, it's important when we can share the positive, uh, faith and, like, confirmations and, um, not all, but some. And so this one, I think, could be very helpful to somebody out there or maybe several people. So stay tuned, guys, and we will get into that as well. Basically, like, we're in the middle of uh, renovating, uh, renovating areas, and so uh, I have had to, I've been really busy, like, with moving things out of certain areas to redo other areas, and so, yeah, that's always kind of... Uh, well, it's fun, but it's also a lot of work. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, uh, things are not quite in order yet, but it's a work in progress, and, uh, it's fun. I, I love to, uh, I don't know, for me, it's like a creative process, so, yeah, uh, I'm, uh, just always thinking about where, you know, how can I redo this and how can I do that? and Or how's it going to be uh, when it's done and how can, what can I create in this area and that, this and that? And uh, I don't know, maybe someday I'll be able to feel comfortable in sharing more of that aspect with you. But uh, that's just kind of part of what's been happening here lately. So, uh, Stay tuned, guys. Stay creative. So here we are, guys. I'm back in my uh, pantry. <laughs> and so uh, uh, I'm going to get my little stool and see if that will work uh, to, uh, so I can have a place to sit so we can uh, get into this. Stay tuned. Little side note. I made this so many years ago, but they have chewed up. Like this was one of those tall benches that I cut off the legs and added the ball feet. I've had this forever, but I just love it. <laughs> but uh so yeah. Uh so back okay, so you know that it's 
uh, that I am, I don't consider myself like a, a super religious type person. I just, uh, I, I consider myself spiritual and I have a personal relationship with the father. So, uh, when this, when this came to, when, when I went, when I, okay, so like always guys, I went to the word and I was just, I was so blown away and I wanted to share that with you. I think that it's just important to share, you know, because I believe that, uh, even it can plant seeds, you know, and it can help others in their darkest times too, to know that there is a great divine, uh, all knowing and healing and feeling and safety and protection that we gain. And for me, it's through Jesus Christ. So, um, I'm going to share with you something. Uh, so basically, let me see, let, let, let me find this. Uh, okay. So this was something that I was going to, going through. And, um, let me make sure. Okay, hold on. So I'm not sure if this is the one I've, one of the ones I've already showed, but I was drawn to, okay, so I, I do like I always do. I thumbed through without even knowing. And, uh, I went to Corinthians 14 and 15. And, um, I started out with 14. And here I've got the Bible. I've got another Bible uh, where I. So let me see real quick if this is the right one. Okay, yeah. well I know it's the right one, but if if it's the one that I read, uh, the natural man, re um, receiveth not the things of spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Rather. Can he know them to uh, cause they are spiritually discerned? And then the fifth, 15, verse 15, this is in Corinthians. But he that is spiritual judgeth, judgeth all things, yet to himself is judged of no man. Uh, and then 16, for who hath known the mind of the Lord shall may uh, instruct him that but uh we have the mind of christ so that one i do think i did read to you and that was uh when i was uh needing that and i thumbed through that and that was like just like the perfect scripture now this is the one that is the most recent and this is the one that really blew me away. Let's see my, my notes. Uh, so I was going through, um, okay, so just like with everything, guys, and with everybody, you know, it's not easy here being a spiritual being on this, on this earthly plane that we're on. And there are times that uh, we go through things with the uncertainty and uh by by being we're spiritual and human at the same time we're actually spiritual first and and human but in or but that's why to me the word is so important because through that we gain the christ energy to have the power and the uh the christ power through him to get through these things so um uh, I was feeling that uh, uncertainty for something that I had to go through, uh, sort of, I was thinking of it as an endurance I had to do, uh, something I had to endure. And uh, I will say that uh, there has been such a great shift uh, in 
my uh, field of existence, basically, that has turned, that some things have turned around. And I'm not saying that uh, I still don't face darkness. I, I do. And that's what, that's where this, the, the battles come in. But uh, I went, knowing that, feeling that uncertainty, I thought, okay, I really need this right now. I really, really need the, I need you, God. I really need the, you, Jesus. And so I, what I did was I went and I, uh, okay, so I'm a faster. I fast every day, but I have been on a 24 hour fast. And then I fasted my regular fasting because, uh, I just had, I just didn't feel like eating, you know, and uh, it was just easy to fast. I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and fast because this is a time of uncertainty for me and I need all the uh, Christ energy that I can get, you know. So in my, so with that, I went into, uh, before I went to the word, before I went to the word, because I said, I need this. I need you. I need you, Jesus, right now. I need you. I need this Christ-like energy in me uh, to get me through. So, uh, with that uh, unwavering faith. So, I went to prayer and I prayed. And uh, I know how to pray in a way that is um, powerful. And it's, for, it's, it's like, if you know what I mean... Uh, it can be different for everybody. We all, we all have our own little ways of doing it. But my my way of doing it is kind of like it's like it's a it's 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 just kind of a ritual and it's kind of intense. <laughs> but uh, it's what it's how I connect, and I do connect, you know, because I have to go through that in order to reach that level up to where I'm actually feel that I, I am in his presence I am in his presence and I and that's where that faith comes in that uh, I know for a fact that he's going to come through for me and then that's when the miracle happens so my prayer is a form of uh, getting me to that level of communication with the most high to where I receive that kind of uh, unknowing that no all-knowing faith so i did do that and then i went to the bible as i always do and i went to i and i wanted to really make sure this time that i uh really picked i mean i was really very tedious and careful about how i picked this out i thumbed through the whole thing and then i just carefully thumb through a little bit more and then I went a little bit more and then I went down to this is where I went up and down and then I stopped to where I got to the, the verse and it was Romans 8 Romans I guess Romans chapter 8 this is what I've got wrote down Romans chapter 8 uh, 17 and 18 verse 17 and let's see i think i actually just wrote this down okay it was 17 and 18 so you know my bible is so tiny and i have lots of bibles but all my bibles are tiny so i'm really need a bible that has a bigger words really i mean but anyway i wrote it down so i'm going to read it from my notes here but anyway it could not have been more perfect. And after the fasting and the prayer, I was just like, uh, I won't say blown away. I was blown away, but I was in a state of euphoria because I knew, I knew without a doubt that he was with me and that he heard me and this is what I want for you I want for you to have that knowing so in this Romans 8 and you got to remember I was feeling a little bit uncertainty uh, of what was to come what this thing was I had to go through endure and everything so this is what 
helped me. And this was the perfect verse in Romans 8, 17. And if the children then hear, hear, hears, hears of God in joint hairs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that also may be glorified together. 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Now just take a minute to, abs to absorb that and re think about that. Say you are in a place of, I, hate, I don't like to use the word fear, so I'm going to say uncertainty maybe. Uh, uh, just the human part of us, okay? It's where that human part of the mind goes. Think that you're in that position and you go and you land on this. And if the children... Then the then heirs, heirs of God, I'm not even saying heir, heirs, heirs. And and if the children, then heirs, heirs of God, were his heirs, and joint heirs with Christ. So you're heirs with God, but you're also joint heirs with Christ. If so be that, if that so be the case. We suffer with him that also may be glorified together. So that is saying to me that being of Christ, if we suffer with him, we are also going to be glorified together. Just, you know, glorified. Then I went to 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, the present time, the time of which you are feeling the uncertainty. You got to remember, you're going to, in that moment, the present time. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So that just like totally set my mind free and at ease because what it's saying is the glories and we're going to go into the Bible in a minute because there was, I think I, the other verse was uh, elaborated a little more. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So whatever sufferings we go through, it's nothing compared to the glory that uh, we're going to we're going to come out on the other side. You know, uh, we are going to make it through and uh, be greatly rewarded. So let's see. Let, let me look at Romans eight. So let me go. Let me find this one. Uh, okay, hold on. So, okay, so then we moved on, then we go down, okay, so I read 17 and 18. So 19 was, uh, for the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of, manifestation of the sons of God. Verse 20, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not him who hath subjected the same in hope. So, by having the hope, okay. So, without the true faith, the expectations that you have are not going to be fulfilled in the way that the true faith in you, the belief of not being able to, the belief of seeing, of seeing, of believing in what you do not see, 
Okay, I, that's something that I've said before. Uh, so, then 20 goes on, For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. So you can have the hope without the faith and, you know, but what you have to have is the faith. So let's go on. We'll read one more. 24. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption unto the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and traveleth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to sit to wit the redemption of our body for we are saved by the hope but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth why doeth he yet hope for but if we hope for that we see not okay see so that's what i had said but if we hope for that that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? Okay, and then it goes on and on. So, but basically, okay, so, yeah. So, to me, that is saying that to have, you have to have the, the, the expectation, the hope of the belief of not of, of believing in what we are not seeing that's as simple as the way i can put it uh so yeah uh that was so profound and powerful to me and that set my mind at ease about the whole thing and i'm telling you i could not have been when i went into the situation that i had to go into it could not have been more of a in fact it was a situation that could have been totally different than what it turned out to be and in fact it was like it was just like a it was like a blessing it was like it was like a huge blessing so so there was there was not only a testimony there was transformation in that so this is not just a book to get well it's a book to to get your relationship going with Christ, but it's also a book of transformation. Uh, and it's powerful. So I just thought that that was important, guys, because this is something that uh, has been such a major thing in my life to get me through. And it's really changed a lot in my life. It has changed. It has let me know that, you know, it does all come from within, but it also comes from, you know, as so within is also a without. A, how does that go? As so with, as so within is so without. So, Basically, yeah, your faith has to come from within, and once that is inside of you, then that will be shown on the outside of you. Okay, so that that's my term. That's my way of putting it. <laughs> so I hope that that inspired you a little bit. And yeah, uh, I do suggest that you. Uh, Keep trying to uh, draw yourself ever closer to the Almighty 
and gain your strength and your faith in that and trust and know that through that you will you can be healed you can have peace you can have joy and you can be a blessing and you can see miracles and you can be changed and you can start over and uh, you can be cured you, you the things that we cannot do the greater the greater can do for us so that's why i speak of this it's a powerful powerful and uh i am like a little walking testimony here sharing these things with you as i have been through so much and i have become so close with him that i i i see these these uh transformations and miracles in my life and no it's not a bed of roses and it wasn't it's not we're not it's not supposed to be because it's a learning process and we have to go through we have to endure and do and suffer for christ just like my little ring says um <laughs> He died for me and I live for him. So, yeah. I am not a religious fanatic or freak or anything like that. I just have a faith that has led me on a path that I'm very, very grateful for. And I'm sharing it with you because I hope that you will find inspiration and healing too. So that's all I guess for now, guys. And I hope that you're having a beautiful day, a beautiful evening, night, whatever time it is. Know that you are worthy and loved. Peace out. And I will see you again soon. So remember, guys, to always be the change within yourself that you want to see. And always always well never never give up okay never give up always have to be and um yeah i have hope and feeling doesn't take a lot just a little bit like the mustard seed and watch it grow and watch it flourish and uh you won't you won't be disappointed guys Stay strong, and I will see you soon. And I might as well show you my new vintage dress. This is a very old, well, it's a vintage dress. And yeah, it's pretty long. It's very long. It's kind of big on me, so I could tie it, tie it, up, tie it up with a headpiece. <laughs> but yeah, I just love the uh, neckline, and then this is a neck piece that I had made and these adorable cute little earrings that I actually did get from a uh, real boutique. So yeah. A 24 hour food fast and then I had a half of my regular fasting so that was just a couple days ago that I did that um, so yeah I have I've had a lot of fruit I mean get your get your fruit get, get, uh, fruit, get your happy fruit fruity happy going so earlier I broke my fast with a sweet potato, uh, with the raw sweet potatoes and the uh, cantaloupe, and I added a <laughs>
have it just popping this evening. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to share a little inspiration. And um, I don't know, I feel like I just feel so happy when I can feel like maybe I can make a difference. So basically it's going on, it's going to be pretty simple and pretty quick. But what I wanted to say is that um, I am not I, I am not well versed in the Bible and although I have lots of Bibles and I was uh, always a had a lot of faith and all of that um i have not i just don't know the thought the the verses you know like some people would so basically that's just like to me is like a, an inspiration because it's a it's such a um confirmation Every time I go to the Bible and I just close my eyes and I thumb through it and I pick out a verse and it's always like the perfect verse. So what, I, what, I, what I'm trying to say to you is don't feel like just because you don't know something that you're less worthy or qualified to, to uh, reap its to take it in and uh, gain all the benefits, because that is that is just what you're going to um, do when you read the word of of God, because basically it is a healing uh, thing that happens on your journey, and you don't have to be an expert to reap these benefits. So I want you to just remember that, guys. Uh, it's there's always, you know. I mean, no matter what you're going through, if if you're going through a hard time, no matter how how hard it is, don't feel that you can't turn to God and that you can't open the book and just start reading it because you don't have to know it in and out, inside, outside, to still get so much faith and really the most important thing is to have a personal relationship so anyway and as you know I can't I can't get on the subject without sharing a little something uh, special and so yeah uh, I had a okay so it was like uh, I just was uh, thinking you know I I need to I need to take time to go to the word and uh, uh, I was like, I think I was just kind of, um, I mean, it's just like with all of us, you know, I mean, we go through our ups and our downs and sometimes, you know, you might feel a little more challenged. So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to go to the word then and just see, you know, and I'm always so amazed and inspired. So I'm going to read that to you and, uh, it hopefully it will help you as much as it helped me uh, because you, I was kind of like just frustrated and you know for a time and, and I mean that's natural we're all going to cut things are going to come up against us feel that but this just totally gave me the confirmation and the strength I needed and that's why I'm saying you don't have to have a lot of support I didn't I never realized so how important it is when you're in a close relationship with God that you can gain it all through having a, uh, having a relationship with him and also going into the word. So well, I will share that with you and uh, yeah, just stay tuned. And yeah, uh, I wanted to read this because this is what uh, I was led to. And uh, as I said, okay, so this uh, 
as always, what I did was I got my little Bible right here and I thumbed through it. And this is a Corinthians, um, okay, Corinthians 1 and 3. Uh, and I went to uh, 15 and 16. Okay, so yeah. And this is a great one. This is like if you're having anxiety, you know, or anything like that, this is what really helps helped me. Uh, so I want you to, if you have a Bible, but if not, just, just listen. Just listen as I read to, this to you. And, you. and realize that, you know, I don't, you know, I mean, I don't know these verses word for word. I mean, I, I'm only learning them now. So, you know. And that's okay. So, anyway, I wrote all that down. I threw it to them. And this was uh, Corinthians 1 and 3, uh, verse 14 and 15. Well, actually, I, I did read, I, I came to uh, 15 first, and then I went up and read 14. So, um, but that's where my finger took me, and that's, this is where it took me. And so let me read this to you. It says, um, Corinthians um, 15, but he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For, okay, that was 15. For, uh, the, for who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may be inst instinct him and we have the mind of Christ and then I went up okay let me see yeah 14 through okay wait a minute I did read yeah 14 through 15 okay so I'm sorry. Hold on. It's hard because I don't, I, the, the writing is so tiny and it's hard for me to see. That's why I struggle reading these for you. But, uh, anyway, this was what, this was what it was for me. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, 15 and then I went to 14. So it says, but he that is spirit, for he that is spiritual, judgeth all things, yet yet he himself is judged of no man. And then I went up to 14, it said, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the of spirit of God. Okay, so that's what makes so much sense. I went back to 14 to understand that. So, but the natural man, okay, so that is the, the man that is not, uh, does not know Jesus, does not have a personal relationship. So, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are uh, foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. I think that's what that says. Just, just, I can't even see that last word. Uh, but this was the one that I originally was led to, and it says, But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. And then let's just go ahead and read 16. For, for who hath known the mind of the Lord that may instruct him that has the mind of Christ? So, all right, so, so that was just like so on timing to me. That was like the most... I mean, each time I do it, it's like, it's more and more confirmation uh, that seems like it's stronger than the last, but that was just what I needed because, um, it was like, it confirmed that 
if you build up a relationship with Christ, with our Father, you will be protected and you will you will be able to to understand have a greater understanding of all so i hope that that meant as much to you that verse as it did to me uh and as i said you know it's a personal journey so if you do it if you if you are like me and you're not well versed, and if you're not and you do do it the way I do it, uh, it will work for you, for your situation because God is the only one. God knows your heart and knows your desires and He knows what you need. So, you know what 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 verses you will be uh, took into will be your own. You know. But this doesn't say that this still cannot resonate with somebody out there, you know. So I hope that it does. So let's just close by saying a small little prayer. And um, yeah, I'm going to say a little prayer to close off this little uh, segment here. And uh, let's just say, dear Father God, dear Jesus, uh, we, we want to thank you. I want to thank you. We want to thank you for giving us the wisdom to understand, giving us the wisdom and the the uh, the Christ-like knowledge that you instilled within us to understand what we're reading and what we are seeing and reading uh, without knowing just on our own. We want to thank you so much for that because that is just such a, a blessing and a, a gift beyond compare. So we thank you for 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 le lending us that kind of knowledge, so that we may have a a knowing of faith that is unwavering. We we thank you so very much for that, and yeah, uh, may may everybody that is in hearing distance of this little prayer uh, have peace and health and joy and uh, be granted the understanding of um, the word and how it can help and apply to you personally thank you jesus thank you so much in your holy name we we ask for your mercies and your protection continued on with with uh, the, the discernment that we need and uh, the joy that only you can bring. Amen. Okay, so I hope that that uh, helped uplift you and uh, yeah, um, just popped in with that. I can't hardly uh, have a a vlog without uh, sharing that aspect of my life because it is basically a the, the most huge the, the the biggest thing that's happened in my life um, to get me through so much so many things and uh, so I encourage you to uh, to go into your Bible just pray. You don't have to be an expert. So, please know God. See you soon.
Beautiful avocado, a sweet potato, and a white potato. Uh, white potatoes are good, guys, and sweet potatoes are amazing as well. There's your health, a uh, healthy balance in your body. Sashimation. Ah, <laughs> Thank you. 
and jalapeno pepper a little just a few pieces of frozen fruit and it was up to here
just wanted to show this because this just looks so beautiful. I got the most beautiful tomatoes and this is a really delicious veggie burger. It is so good. I've had, I only had this other one once before and then all these greens. And then I'm just going to make a sandwich. I have some, some uh, nut type bread and I've got that mayo.